Ski Wolf from 2008 by Chris Seaver. And you people who watch SOV films, who watch stuff from SRS and low-budget stuff, you all know about Chris Seaver. He brings a good comedy approach to horror, and he brings a good 80s-type approach to films, too. Ski Wolf. Fantastic. You know, if you are not familiar with Chris Seaver, he makes a lot of comedy films mixed in with horror and an old kind of 80s vibe to it. Uh, Teen Ape Goes to Camp. I don't know if you have seen that one. Mulva films. And what I like about Chris Seaver and in his films, he has a lot of the characters from his other films make cameo, uh, make cameo appearances. Which I think is a good take, you know? kind of Trauma kind of does that from time to time with Toxic Avenger films. Like Kabuki Man will show up. So I think that's a, that's a good little take, especially if you're a big fan of Chris Seaver and seen most of his films. They're a lot of fun, man. They have a good 80s vibe to it. You know, they have some type of character, like a ski wolf or a teen ape. Um, and they're a blast, you know. Um, sexuality, a lot of sexuality in his films. But th the big winning factor for me in this film was Trent Haga, who's one of my favorite actors. I've loved him in everything I've seen, and he is just phenomenal. He plays, his character's name is Ralston Zabka. He plays this bully. Now, Zapka is, uh, obviously, you know, William Zapka, who's played a bully in most films. You know, he's been the karate kid as Johnny Lawrence, uh, who ended up taking over the Cobra Kai. Oh, yeah. And he's been in films like Back to School, where he plays a kind, kind of heelish um, individual. So, um, and the Ski Wolf, his role is Scott Bateman, you know? So that's a take on Teen Wolf films. And this is a, a true take on Teen Wolf. But it has a great 80s vibe. Like Bill Murray's character in Caddyshack. Um, a guy basically mimics him in this film. Sorry about the dogs. I had a new dog. He's um, he's young and he's all over the place. So I'm sorry about the barking. I, my house isn't that big. So no matter where I go, you're going to hear the dog. But he's cute and he's adorable and I love him. He's Mackie Mac. Oh yeah, he's the Mac attack. <laughs> and he loves these movies. He actually liked Ski Wolf. I'll be in a bit scary. Scary film. So Casey Bowker, he plays Scott Bateman, a.k.a. Ski Wolf, and, you know, he's going to his uncle's lodge. Um, where him and where his uncle and his dad, they basically own the lodge, but they have to sell it because um, he needs the money. He can't really afford it anymore. So they're going in for one last hurrah, have a big party and bash with all his friends and and then he meets up with um, Ralston Zapka, who wants to buy the place. And he's a big heel. He's going to change it all around to this big um, amusement park. Um, ski area, ski lodge. He's going to turn into like an amusement park and everything. And he's going to kick them out and make sure they never come back to the ski lodge, a place where... Scotty grew up, you know, his father had ownership, his uncle had ownership, <clears throat> but they're going to take conservative efforts to make sure this jerk does not take over, and he has, um, <clears throat> Fantasia Snow is his mistress, that's Ralston Zabka, played by Trent Haga, um, she's a very big-breasted individual, not very intelligent, <laughs> and he has, um, two other friends, one who's just brainless and random and just comes up with random stuff out of nowhere and one who's always in a ski mask you never see his face and he's like yeah man yeah what's going on yeah it's freaking hysterical that's his entourage Waltz and Zabka <clears throat> and of course you know Uncle Bill's kind of weird too his his uncle Billy baby, Billy Garbarina he's kind of an oddball he's, he's kind of all over the place but he, he's someone that would have been played by um Oh, I don't know. Somebody from the 80s. Um, kind of like uh, John Belushi probably would have played him from back in the day. <laughs> He's pretty much all over the place. Ski Wolf is a lot like Teen Wolf meets Animal House meets old 80s films that were shown on USA Up All Night with, you know, I don't know if you guys ever remember that on USA, it used to be an USA Up All Night show. Ronda Shear and Gilbert Godfrey used to host it. This is a type of film that would be shown on there. So anyway... Um, Ralston challenges Scotty to a ski-off. And, of course, Ralston wipes the mat with him. 
um, skis past him, just cockily beats him. So they have a potty later on, and um, Scotty's all depressed. And um, But they're having a good time. They're doing a limbo. They're drinking. They're partying. And um, like I say, Scotty Bateman has weird, weird, weird friends. Like one, one guy is straight out of like a Lord of the Rings type film. And uh, there's another female who's developmentally disabled. <laughs> and, um, of course, you know, the girl that he grew up with all his life kind of reminds me of Boof from Teen Wolf. Who, you know, they end up having a thing together and they end up falling in love, which is a cute thing. So, during the party, he's outside and all of a sudden he gets attacked by this wolf. We never really see the wolf. We never see what he's really attacked by, but we figure it's a wolf. So he wakes up, and he's just feeling weird. I mean, he brushes his teeth, all the bristles from the toothbrush are just torn off. He's growing hair from places he's never grown hair at a fast rate. And so at any time um, something occurs in a negative sense, where it upsets him, he turns into the wolf. And then he's like the party animal, life of the party, kind of like Teen Wolf. He can out-ski anybody, he dances, he's the life of the party. Where before, as Scotty Bateman, he wasn't, he was just a regular dude, you know? People really weren't into him, for, for him being him. Once he turned to the wolf, he became this, like, party animal. He'd go to parties, and, and he's the best dancer, and he's the best skier, and he's the best of everything. <clears throat> and so, he challenges Ralston to an ultimate ski-off when it takes all. Okay? Um... If Ralston wins, he gets this nudie magazine, this very rare nudie magazine that Scott had. <laughs> um, and if Scott wins, you know, he gets control. He gets ownership of the ski lodge. So, things occur, and his friends are really getting pissed off that people really aren't appreciating him for him, but they're appreciating him for being a wolf, a party wolf. So he decides to face Ralston one-on-one, -on -one, ask Scotty Bateman and not the wolf. And of course, it doesn't turn out right. But, when Ralston goes in to finally purchase a ski lot the next day at noon, oh, he has a surprise coming to him. Now, I'm not going to tell you what that surprise is, but it's friggin' awesome. And the wolf... Se <coughs> Sorry. I bet I had a bad cold. The wolf semi comes back. Or maybe not. But you'll see at the end, Ski was a lot of fun. It has a good 80s vibe to it. It's fun. They have party. They have a lot of sexuality in it. Um, you know, um, you see a lot of influences to Teen Wolf and Animal House and Caddyshack and old 80s films like that. So you sell that Chris Eva really appreciated the films are from the 80s. Especially, he must have watched USA Up All Night with Ron the Shane Gilbert Godfrey. Because, you know, you used to see films like The Toxic Avenger, Can't Buy Me Love, all types of, like cool little 80s films from back in the day. Uh, License to Drive. I don't know if you've ever seen that one. <laughs> uh, so this is a fun film, man. I actually really loved this film. I thought this film was so much fun and fantastic and um, showed influences from a lot of films that I've enjoyed from back in the 80s, so I have a big appreciation for it. But I had a blast watching this, and I would definitely watch this again. So get this at SRS Cinema. And watch other Chris Eber films because, you know, he likes what I like, man. I grew up in the 80s. He grew up in the 80s probably and really appreciates a lot of those films. So, yeah, loads of fun. Trent Haga is amazing. Oh, my God, he is utterly fantastic. He's one of the best parts of this film. Uh, Ralston Zabka. Oh, my God. Absolutely hysterical. And they have a lot of kooky other characters that are a lot of fun and you can just laugh at. Ugh. But it has, you know, like I say, it has a good 80s vibe. And that's why I really love this film, Ski Wolf. Check it out. I got this one for cheap, too, on um, eBay. It only cost me a couple bucks. SRS and will probably charge you a lot more. But, you know what? It's so worth it. Great entertainment. Sorry about the glare, guys. Oh, yeah. Ski Wolf. Check it out, man. Really good film. Now, the Cheezometer has gone from 100 to 1. 100 being the best, 1 being the worst. It's like grades on a test, man. I'm having fun with this. This is fun for me, okay? So if you're like, oh, why are you doing that, man? Just know that 
Look who you're dealing with. Yeah, you get it now, don't you? All right, P people do 10 to 1. Oh, you know, whatever you want to do, man. Whatever you want to do. I'm doing 101 because it's fun. I'm having fun here. Yeah. I'm here at Body Bags having a blast. And you should be all too watching this. Oh, yes. All right, 100 to 1, man. I give this a 90. Oh, my God. This is an A movie for me, man. Had so much fun watching this. I would watch this again and again and again and again and again. Because that's how I roll. Ski Wolf is so much fun. You know, Trent Hogg is the best part of this whole movie. Um... But everybody else, you know, did a decent job for what it was. Um, the other acting wasn't so great. Oh, well. But the, the picture was actually really good on this. And the music was fun. Played by a band who was lip-syncing. Lip-syncing to the music. And you could obviously tell, but who cares? A lot of scenes where Ski Wolf eat, eats babies. Oh, yeah. And he just randomly attacks a guy because he's pissed off with his friend who told him, people, people don't appreciate you for the wolf. They should love you for you. So he's like, and I don't like you as the wolf. So he just randomly goes up to a guy and just rips his organs out and starts eating them. Just random goofiness, but so much fun. So check it out, Ski Wolf. You've probably seen this one before. I don't know. Something tells me you did. But if you haven't, check it out. Especially if you love Teen Wolf, Animal House, all those old films from the day, the wildlife. Oh, yeah. You're going to love some Teen Ski Wolf. I almost said Teen Wolf. Ski Wolf. Oh, yeah. But thanks for watching, guys. Watch the other reviewers. They are so awesome and so passionate about what they do. They are some of the coolest guys in the world, and they welcome me with open arms, man, and that just means the world to me. Great to be associated with this group of guys who love films. Oh, yes, and check out, oh, yeah, Crispy Movies, because on there you never know what you're going to get. Please subscribe to that, and please subscribe to Body Bags. Every day, a new video. Oh, yes, and I am a lucky man. Because I will be doing the video on Halloween. <laughs> so I may be giving you a movie with maybe Halloween in the title. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And I may bring a very surprised guest <laughs> to do the video with me. Ooh, you never know what you're going to get. Maybe I'll throw some candy through you. Let me get some can candy right through the screen so you can get it. Whatever. Anything goes in Halloween. You know that. <laughs> so check out those late night horror movies. Put on your latest fright rags. But don't forget to tune in to another episode of the show we call <clears throat> Body Bags. <laughs>